Back, Georgia's popular film tax credit got some scrutiny at the Capitol today with one lawmaker saying that it's time to rein it on in. A recent audit of the credit shows taxpayers lose far more than the state makes in the film industry jobs. 11 Live's Doug Richards is in Dorville with more. Doug? Yeah, boosters of the film tax credit would take a look at this giant studio recently constructed in Doraville and say this is a great reason for Georgia to retain its film tax credit. But detractors also look at it and the generosity from the state treasury for the tax credit and say maybe we need to take another look. Does any of that loss factor in? Republican State Representative Jason Ridley says there's very little film work done in his North Georgia hometown of Chatsworth. Other lawmakers have supported the Georgia film industry and its uncapped state tax credit for productions made at some of Georgia's gleaming new studios. But a new audit shows that for every taxpayer dollar spent on the film industry this year, the state will only get 19 cents back from the investment. Is it making money or losing money? It returns less to the state in tax dollars than, than it cost the state. Ridley was among those raising questions for auditors at a state house hearing. Republican Ron Stevens was among those defending the tax incentives, pointing to the new studio in Doraville as evidence. We couldn't get anybody to come in and take over that plant until recently, whenever we've gotten um, the film industry moved in and, and invested what's going to be a 4,000 job um, production studio. In 2022, state senators wrote a cap to the film tax credit into a bill, then changed their minds. Ridley says it may be time to change back. Right up there where I'm at, we're just kind of hard working uh, mill town, you know, and uh, but, uh, you know, if, if you start looking at those tax credits, I could probably think of a whole lot better places to help some, some blue collar people uh, that would use those and, and the state would benefit more from them. But the film tax credit remains politically popular among members of both political parties. And while they've talked about uh, eliminating it or capping it, um, that's never really gotten any real traction at the Capitol. And in this election year, uh, it's not likely to happen again either uh, in 2024. Uh, we are live in Doraville tonight. Back to you.